Okay, <clears throat> let's uh, back to the gravitational uh, systems for uh, groundwater flow, groundwater flow system analysis. And well, this is what uh, our last uh, slide that uh, we found this uh, numerical solution for the head and for the flow. And well, this is the groundwater flow system analysis or the hierarchical flows. And why hierarchical? Well, you have uh, uh, many types of flows at different times, different velocity, different time of uh, residence. And now, uh, make you, let's make use of the advantage of a numerical solution, for example, this kind of uh, heterogeneity. Just here we have k equal 1, and just we put in the lower pan uh, 100 times more of uh, hydraulic conductivity. Well, we can use our previous spreadsheet uh, to simulate that heterogeneity. And let's put this heterogeneity here. Okay, well, let's with some other color. Let's put uh, yellow. And well, in the upper part, yes, we have point one just to remember, and in the lower power, tent. Now, here, since you have <coughs> uh, delta x equal delta c, an homogeneous uh, hydraulic conductivity, but here you have point one in this particular point or cell, you have point one and ten, the average is 5.05. .05. So you have from, to put here from the left 5.05, .05, the same from the right 5.05. .05. Okay, times. And the upper is 0 0.1, 0 0.1. And the lower is 10. And you have to, this is a weighted mean. So 505 plus 505 is 10.1. And 0 0.1 plus 10, well, is 10.1. <coughs> and well, we have here this uh, equation. I just copy through the that uh, line of uh, heterogeneity, and let's copy the formula just to maintain our colors. And let's with uh, F9, here are the iterations in the lower part, 2,000 iterations. You can leave it for more iteration, for more accuracy. And okay, we have here that uh, the, the, the health solution. Now let's go to the flow. And uh, exactly the same. And here, okay. Just to remember. And let's bring these two <coughs> These are the values that actually we are using. Just oh. copy, paste. Okay, so here. Now, you can see here that the uh, equation for the stream function is just 1 over k. So actually, in the upper part, 1 over k is 10, and in the lower part, 1 over k is 0 0.1. This is just to remember, and just any cell, any point in the any finite difference, 
So the same as the previous, we have 1.05 from the left. That's the mean value, 5, 0.05 from the right. Uh, from the upper part, we have 10. And in the lower part, we have uh, 0.1. And divided by 10.1, well, that's plus 10.1, or just 20.2. Okay, let's copy and paste that heterogeneity here. Just F9, and after 2000 iterations, okay, let's see if we got the right answer. Yes, so you could see here the heterogeneity. So let's see in our presentation here. So that's the solution. No? You can see all well, the you have more uh, hydraulic conductivity so the flow lines are just uh, more uh, it passes just through the lower part. And uh, uh, also many other features. Well, uh, uh, here you have almost horizontal flow, and this is some kind of uh, confined or semi-confined uh, aquifer. And just bring uh, another of the thought uh, statement that uh, relative concept of confined aquifer and impermeability. Well, it depends, of course, in the uh, difference in hydraulic conductivity. But also, if you put a wall here, well, that uh, confining that uh, depends on the time as on the, the stress. And, well, you can also, for example, uh, well, that's another field, uh, uh, aquitard hydrogeology, but also you can define uh, a better uh, aquitard layer here. Well, if you have here 10 meters per day, so almost all the flows go through the upper part and well that's also the solution and well you have uh, in the lower part uh, a confined or uh, semi-confined uh, uh, conditions now well you can play well uh, 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 you, 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 of course you can do this uh, exercise in, uh, in any groundwater model, uh, Moflo, uh, any other. But this is just a spreadsheet and mainly for uh, educational uh, purposes, academic purpose, that uh, also you can use for practice. Uh, well, here, if you have 0 0.1, 0 0.1, well, of course, all the flow goes to the upper part. But <coughs> now, uh, 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 for example, this is a shale now, it's also a new field, uh, the, the shale hydrogeology, uh, and uh, uh, many programs of uh, hydraulic uh, fracture, uh, fracking, can be also uh, give some solution with this kind of uh, flow system uh, uh, analysis. And, uh, well, that's uh, for now. This is the end of part two, and let's continue with the part uh, three. Thank you very much.